welcome back to the channel guys happy saturday i'm back with a new hardware review and it is a dual 1860 box mod kit it is the inicon proton plex edition kit yes this mod has been around a few months now uh, but i received this kit over christmas and i've been using it now for a couple of weeks i wasn't going to review it but I've decided to review it because it's such a good piece of kit. Um, we're going to do the usual stuff today. We're going to drop down to the vape table. We're going to have an up close look at the gorgeous Inacon Proton Plex. Uh, look at the specs, look at the packaging. We're going to come back up here. We're going to have a vape. We're going to have a chat about the mod and let you know my thoughts. Uh, but yeah, that's why I've decided to review it. it was, um, so it's been out a while, but I thought got to get a review out for this it's from my experience it's a gorgeous lovely piece of vaping equipment to use so i'm gonna catch you back down the vaping table in a couple of ticks welcome back down to the vape table guys here's the packaging for the inikin proton plex edition kit plex edition kit indeed so here's the packaging and you can see on the front this is the color option that i've got which is the white with the rainbow ensemble, uh, obviously with the tank included. There is two other colours in this Plex edition. So I'll pop a picture up now so you can see this colour and the other two colours that come in this limited or this edition. Um, obviously warning labels, tells us about the Plex coil, Inakin label, Inakin Proton. On the back as usual, got another warning label, an authenticity scratch and check card, um, manufacturer, various warning labels, and obviously what's included within the kit. So I'll open this up. There we go. And there we have the actual box, and it's a very nice box indeed. It just folds open like so, and you have a uh, your accessories in this side and obviously the other bits in here. I'll show you what's inside the accessories first. Let's open this up, open up the box and what have we got in here? It's not Christmas. Right, here we go. So I've got a whole raft of goodies in here. I'll just show you. Which I think is really clever. It's a little kind of sheet showing you how the tank assembles, deassembles, some details on the operation of the mod itself. Shows you kind of a quick reference guide which I think is very very good indeed. USB charging and upgrade lead and then we have another little package which I'm not sure what's in here so we'll have another look see what's in here. Yeah as I thought, got the warning safety card battery care guide which is always good and a warranty card from Inakin so uh, let's uh, do something for that lot let's put that out of the way over there and it comes with a little vape band as well yeah very nice little vape band so there we go inside the box we have got the mod itself which I'll just get out which we'll uh, come to shortly the tank it comes with a spare glass as well bubble glass as well uh, not bubble glass sorry a spare straight glass this is the EU version of the kit uh, but I broke one of my glasses so I've got that glass here it also comes with a spare triple mesh coil so a triple mesh coil with it as well, really good, really good. So put that out, get that out of the way. And we'll have a look at the tank first. So you can see it's multicoloured. It's got an 810 drip tip, a co like a Cobra style drip tip. It's got the um, O-rings on the actual drip tip itself. So you won't be able to use your standard drip tips such as the one I've got here because obviously the O-ring's got to be on the inside so 
Look, if you've got an 810 with these type of O-rings, perfect. It doesn't come with a 510 adapter, which is no problem to me at all. So yeah, 810 drip tip. Top fill, which I really like. I don't know if you can see that, just slides across like so. Nice big opening, you put your juice in there. Airflow control, there's two slots, one on either side, fully shut, and obviously whatever you do to one will replicate on the other side. Not much going on on the bottom at all, a CE mark, and um, don't throw it in the bin mark. 510 pin, it's slightly protruding. To undo it's very simple, just undo this, just unscrew like so. Obviously the glass just pops off. And there's your coil, it comes installed with the uh, single mesh version. And you can see the size of that hole, it's uh, mahoosive. It's quite big indeed. But yeah, it comes pre-installed with a single mesh. Then obviously, just unscrews. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly prime this one up. I'm going to prime it up with some uh, blackberry jam tart from the Jam and Vape Company. So I'm just going to whack a bit in the middle there, get that kind of get that on the go, like so. Prime it up. Prime. Do do do. Little prime on there. Put that back in, screw it all together, slide over, and then we'll fill, let's give it a little fill. We'll fill this up, and I'm going to put this to one side then while um, we go through the actual mod itself. Yeah, be a bit careful when you're filling it because uh, it kind of backfills on you, so I'll just, just fill that up. I'm going to put that to one side. like so and now we will have a look at the mod itself I might do a cut shot in a minute so to have a look at the display properly depending on uh, how it views when I'm looking at it now but I can just quickly run you through the mod on the external side so the, the 510 pin itself is not centralized which is a little bit disappointing a little bit disappointing it'd be nice if that could have been put in the center but the 510 itself is nice and springy. The battery door at the bottom, this is some ventilation there as you can see, slides across like so, opens up, takes two 18650 batteries. The only thing I would say regarding the batteries, if I just turn it up, very clearly marked that end you can see red for plus my blue minus for negative obviously nothing is marked that end but it's very difficult to see because it's in white anyway the door itself had no problems with this door at all it stayed in place hasn't come apart with day, normal kind of day-to-day -day use and banging about so I'll put the batteries back in like so Put the batteries back in, slide across, like so, yeah. Fire bar itself is this side. It's got a little, little emblem there. Nice and clicky. Really nice fire bar. Obviously this side doesn't do anything. The look of it, I actually like the look of this kind of rainbow white one. I, I really do like the look of it really do like the look of it so let me see how we're looking when it's going I'm just going to adjust the camera slightly so we can look at the screen because I'm getting a quite a bad reflection off let's see if I can improve it I'll be back in two ticks right guys I've just adjusted the camera slightly and I've brought the display up so we can see what we're doing um, as I said before there's a fire bar on this side um, to turn the mod off it is three clicks that turns the mod off. If I push the, the fire button again, 
it tells you three clicks to power on. So it's three clicks. In a kin, powers up. It comes onto the home screen. Now this is the interesting part. Which first of all, I must admit that I didn't think would work, but honestly, it works brilliantly. It's this jo this little joystick here. Now to enter the menu, you push down on the joystick three times. And it comes to the menu, and then to navigate the menu, you go up and down. So if I just go down, two, three. So we go to the settings. Uh, we can go to. You can change it to Fahrenheit to Celsius. But obviously, when I've got it in temperature mode, that will alter. Go back to the menu. If I go back to settings, I can change the color. So what if I like the display colors? You can see it's changing now. I'll we'll go to red. Display changes to red. One, two, three. Back to the menu. Down to settings. Puff count. You can reset that. I've had 2,183 puffs on this hit. Go back. Firmware. If you can do a factory reset. Firmware update. As I said, it's firmware upgradable. Back. Screen, you got dim, the timers, the brightness, and then vape cut off. You can obviously, if you've got the fire button held in for some reason, it'll cut off after eight seconds, seven seconds, whatever. So I'll do it five seconds. Back to the menu, two, three. Now, if I go to the coil, you can have it set in wattage, stainless steel 316, titanium, nickel. So if I go to stainless steel, and we've got the temperature 220 degrees Celsius. And if I hold it down, then I can, I don't know if you see the wattage there flashing, I'll just quickly point it out. There, oh, there even. You can adjust the wattage up and down accordingly. up then go side to side you can adjust the temperature so you do absolutely everything from this joystick it's uh, I'll be honest with you I, I didn't think it was going to work but it works absolutely brilliantly so then you got your TCR so you can adjust that if accordingly if you want to hard to come back out you got your curve Got bypass mode, turn yes on or off. No. And you go back to your settings. So, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I found this so easy to use uh, from a, from a user point of view. I don't know. After maybe a couple of hours of using it, it's become second nature using this joystick. Right. So if I come back out. Sorry about that. One, two, three. Go back to the menu. Go back to the coil. I'm gonna put it back on wattage. Go back to wattage. Right, back on wattage now. So, so all to the wattage I showed you. If you push up, you can see the wattage is starting to flash. Then side to side goes all the way down to six. Then it round robins, as you can see, up to the maximum, which is 235 watts. Side again, round robins. You've got your two battery indicators at the top. Voltage, ohmage, obviously when there's an atomizer put in. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I, I, I love this menu that they've um, incorporated into this mod. Obviously down below there is your upgrade charging port. in a kin there. Proton at the top. Um, just trying to think of anything else to say with the menu. Uh, it's very simple. As I said, three clicks. It's very, very simple to use. I thought it was going to be a bit of a nightmare to use, but um, not at all. It's, as you say, that you change the colour. Very, very good indeed. So um, that's a quick run through of the menu and how that all works. Um, Anything else to mention down on the table? 
Not really, I'll just show you the coil. Let's move that to one side. I'll quickly show you the coil. This is the uh, triple coil that it come with. So this is the triple mesh. Point one three ohms, and that is between eighty. I'll just read that, and one hundred and ten. So that's the recommended for that. I'm going to be vaping on the single mesh when we go back up top. So there you go, guys. So just give you a quick idea, kind of dimension wise. Quickly, I'll just drop that back on the side. Top to bottom. So that's from the five ten plate to the bottom of the mod you're looking at 85 millimeters across here side to side you're looking at 44.6 and across the top 29.6 it is a shame they couldn't center that 510 minimum wattage to maximum wattage is 6 to 235 watts the resistance range of the atomizer is 0 0.05 to 3.5 ohms as I showed you, it's joystick controls for the menu, side firing button, preheat function, obviously you saw the adjustable TCR memory, temperature control range, 150 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius, minimum to maximum wattage, 0 to 9 volts, yeah, stainless steel 510 threading, it's firmware upgradable as I said, maximum charge current is 2 amps, Maximum output current is 40 amps. You've got full control on temperature, um, low resistance protection, dual circuit, and reverse polarity protection. So it's got the complete package, guys. That's a quick run through of the specs down below in the packaging. What we're going to do now is head up top. I'm going to have a vape on the, um, this mesh coil, and I'm going to let you know my thoughts on this Inicom Proton. Plex edition kit. Catch up top in a couple of ticks guys. Welcome back up top for the final part of my review for the Inicom Proton Plex edition kit. Um, had a quick look at it down on the vape table, went through the specifications, an up close look at the mod itself. Um, what are my thoughts on it? Well, I've got to say straight off the bat, I love it, I love the mod, it's a great mod. Um, I must admit, I received this over Christmas, um, and I know it's been out quite a few months, but I'll be honest with you, once I've started using it, um, vaping it and using the menu, etc., I thought, I've got to review it, I've got to review it. I know it's been reviewed previously by other reviewers, but I thought I've got to get a review out there because it is such an outstanding mod. Uh, when I say an outstanding mod, it, mainly because of ease of use of that menu using this joystick can't believe how much second nature it is to actually kind of work your way through the menu and uh, actually operate the menu and the functionality of it obviously love the fire bar which is good um, it hits everything as far as I'm concerned wattage rise as I said before I'm not a big temperature control person but I have tried it on temperature control and it does seem to hit the mark. It's definitely not understated and it's definitely not overstated. Uh, wattage wise, it says it reaches 235. I don't think it reaches that. I'm gonna suggest it maybe reaches just under the 200 mark, comparing it to other mods that I've got. Um, the tank, like the tank, I do like the tank. I like the coils. I'm currently using the 0.15 coil which has got a range of between 60 and 110 watts. I'm vaping it on 60 watts currently, so airflow wide open. I'm gonna give it a vape. Remember I showed you the bore of the actual coil and how wide it was. Let's give it a vape. I tell you, that is as smooth as any. It's smoother than smooth, the airflow through that. I actually thought it was going to be very turbulent, but I think that's just the way they've engineered the base and the, actually the way the airflow goes up into the coil. Um, flavour is exceptional. Really good flavour of these Plex coils. Really, really good. Don't 
and that's on 60 that's on 60 watts so what we're going to do now just going to up that and up it to 80 up that to 80 let's give it a vape now lovely oh my god wow oh, I'm using that blueberry jam tart from the jamming vape company on it wow the flavor is absolutely popping off this coil absolutely popping Ooh. that is really really nice really nice can you give it one more vape we're going to whack it up so I don't I wouldn't normally vape it at 100 watts I've got it at 100 watts this is 10 watts below its range we're going to go to 100 here we go let's give that a try flavour still there not a hot vape at all still a reasonably good vape cool vape not really nice lovely I found my sweet spot for these guys again it's a personal preference I've ate these at about 70 watts these single mesh coils the triple mesh coil I've tried um, really nice flavour as well as you'd expect really pops longevity um, the single mesh I found I've been, well, I've been using probably I've had about two and a half, two and a half weeks out of the coil and the flavour started to drop off. The triple mesh, again I've been using the blueberry jam tart, I found the flavour started to drop off after about a week and a half to two weeks. So not as long, but again it can vary on the juice. They also do a quad coil for this tank as well, which isn't a mesh, it's just a standard wire mesh, standard wire coil. Let's have another vape. I mean, so overall, I'm impressed with the tank. I, the coils are absolutely, they're exceptional. Some of the best I've used in the last year. The tank itself is TPD compliant, so it's only gonna hold two milliliters of e-liquid. But you can buy a bubble glass for this tank, buy them on Amazon, eBay, your vaping retailers will probably sell them as well and that will whack the volume probably up to about four millilitres so you'll get a bit more juice in your tank they might do other ones that go up to five but the ones I've seen go up to four millilitres I think I saw them on Amazon so if you want to increase the volume you'll need to buy a bubble glass as well unless obviously you're not in the EU going back to the mods the tanks are good and as far as I'm concerned like the, the drip tip, I like the drip tip. It's probably a little, little bit on the tall side. I like it to be a bit shorter, but I like it. It's eight ten. You can't. There's no five ten adapters. You can't put your five ten drip tips on there. But yeah, I, I like it. Uh, the style itself, I like. This this white kind of rainbow, kind of edging on it. I like it. It also comes in a red and a blue which I showed you earlier on in the up close on the picture. As I say, all I can go back to is the, the functionality again, is the menu, absolutely phenomenal. I really like it. Um, easy to use. I'm gonna say, uh, out of all the mods I've tried in the last year, I've obviously tried all of them, uh, my favorite mod of last year was the Lux by Vipresso. Uh, this, is up there with the Lux as far as I'm concerned definitely it, it might even be equal to the Lux for the functionality and the way you can use it but I think the things that might kind of from in my opinion set it back slightly is obviously it'd be nice to have the 510 centered uh, tank size you, you're not going to get your 30 mils on there unfortunately without overhang you're looking at probably 27 ish maybe 28 at a push that you'll get on there comfortably uh, but if they could have centered it 
that would have been a perfect mod in my opinion absolutely perfect mod um, anything else to think of love the display nice vibrant colorful display got all the details you need as I said the temperature controls there it's got all the options you're gonna need um, there's no rattle solid as a rock absolutely solid as a rock feels good in the hand as well you can fire it either way that way this way any way you like have another vape so yeah to summarize guys an absolutely superb mod um, Gonna, as I said, put it up there. Um, if you guys, any, this is ideal, ideal for maybe someone that wants to buy their first mod, has started out, has, has been vaping for a while, or it could be for an experienced vapor who wants uh, another mod. It's uh, absolutely spot on, absolutely spot on. Really, really, really like this mod. Um, and that kind of summarises it guys, I'm sort of trying to think of uh, anything else to add, Any, anything to add information wise. And what I like about it as well is uh, with Inakin, you can see they've put a lot of thought into the, the menu and using that joystick. The only other mod I've seen a joystick on is the G Class. Uh, possibly it was the what was that other mod? Oh, it's gone out of my brains. I recently reviewed it. I can't think of it at the moment. It, there's another mod. It's similar to the G class, but I had the joystick. And straight away, what I say? Obviously, this isn't as complex as a G class to use, but functionality-wise, they've got all the features in there that you'd need uh, with the ease of using this little joystick to control it all so yeah hats off to Inakin for this absolutely uh, I think that wraps the review up I think you're getting my drift guys I think you know I like the mod but it's a kind of a bit of a gush fest but as I said I received it over Christmas I know it's been out a while but I thought I've got to put this review out there and uh, obviously there's plenty of vapors coming up now it's the new year um, they'll be possibly watching this so if you're looking for a new mod Definitely recommend it, guys. Definitely, and that is the Inakin Proton Plex Edition. And the reason it's called the Plex Edition, obviously, is because of the new colours. There's three new colours, but also they brought out a triple mesh coil, which is uh, comes in with the kit and which you can readily about readily buy. Uh, buying it in the UK, most online retailers are doing this. Vape shops, you can buy it anywhere. Amazon are doing it. Just Google it. E-Sig One Vaping One Hundred One. Evolution vaping, obviously around the world have a global look. Heaven's gifts, maybe fast tech. Price wise, varying to be honest with you. You're probably looking for the complete kit as it is, looking between maybe fifty-five to sixty-five pounds. Um, broad probably looking sixty-five to seventy dollars, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Uh, and that wraps up my review for. The Inicum Proton Plex Kit. Really enjoyed it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the review. I've enjoyed reviewing this and using this, and I will definitely continue using this mod. Um, really, really enjoyed using it so far, uh, and I'll long continue using it. Uh, if you did like this video, obviously click the like button. Didn't like it, click the dislike. You didn't like it. Any comments you want to put on the video, please. Drop them down below. Any questions you want to ask, drop me a comment down below. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram. You can contact me on there as well for any information, any advice. Um, your support means the world to me, as I said before. I'm on YouTube and Vapetube now. So um, give us a follow, give us a subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'll be back in a couple of days' time with a new review. We've got some new products coming in, which I'm quite excited about. So I'll be back soon with them. Until next time, take care and vape on. Catch you soon, guys.